We are Cam and Heather on Sea Clef, and we are on the trip of a lifetime. Come share in our adventures as we take you through the Great Lakes to Chicago, down through the river system of the Midwest, along the panhandle of Florida, across the Gulf of Mexico, and down the west side of Florida, crossing through the Okeechobee Waterway to Eastern Florida. Then share in our adventures as we continue throughout the Bahamas and back up the Eastern seaboard, finally returning to Canada on America's Great Loop. We are anchored in San Domingo and Heather's pulling up a muddy anchor. Awful smoke out. It's not as bad as some areas, but it's the air quality is pretty low. And Heather's got asthma, so she's having to wear an N95 mask. So our anchor's up. Heather's just doing some cleanup of the deck. And I'm up doing my job on the helm. Uh, Heather mentioned that I should, you know, make sure that people know that the reason that the air quality is bad is not because St. Michael's is a terrible place to stay, but because we have uh, fires up in eastern Canada that are causing the smoke based on wind direction to come down this way. Well, I'm up on the bridge this morning. Heather's not up here yet. She's getting some breakfast for us. But uh, we talked a little bit about the smoke from the fires in Canada. And uh, uh, it is probably as bad as we've seen it so far. Uh, we we can see ahead of us. But if you if you look any, any sort of further out, uh, the uh, actually it looks better on screen than it does when I'm looking at it. Uh, there must be filters on the uh, camera that uh, make it a bit better visibility. Maybe I should just navigate through my camera here. It's not a very good uh, visibility day. We, I'm going to turn radar on. And we, uh, we are crossing the bay today. We're heading from uh, St. Michael's, the south end of St. Michael's, which was a really nice stop, over to Annapolis. Uh, where we don't have a reservation or a slip yet, we're hoping that uh, we can get one. And uh, otherwise, we'll, I don't know, we'll find a place to anchor or we'll uh, grab a morning ball. Good morning from the hazy, smoky bridge. And no, we're not smoking. Spider! <laughs> uh, I've seen that. He's right up on our uh, Hazy, smoky bridge of Sea Clef. We are underway from St. Michael's to Annapolis, as I may have mentioned earlier uh, when I was talking about all the smoke we're having. And Heather is wearing an N95, which I don't know that we've worn for quite a while. Uh, I, uh, we only have five of them, so I'm going to skip it and let Heather uh, use them. Uh, today is supposed to be the worst day for the smoke, um, and then the winds are going to shift, and it should clear tonight, hopefully. We got a place to stay in Annapolis. Oh, yeah. Annapolis Yacht Basin. And uh, when I 
nice thing about that is we'll be able to plug in, we'll be able to close our windows and run our air conditioning and I'll be able to be in the boat without a mask on and breathe better tonight. Thankfully, they say it's going to clear tonight. Yeah. So, some rain would really be helpful. It would. Goodness, some rain in Nova Scotia would, that would, be, awesome. would be awesome. Well, we'll check Short in maybe underway. Short run today. Short run, yeah, it's about 30... 30 nautical miles today and uh, or maybe a little less than that uh, so not a bad run at all we should be tied up before one o'clock today including a fuel stop at um, we're going to Fairbanks tackle and uh, we're gonna fuel up there it's it's less than three bucks a gallon it's like two dollars and eighty six or eighty seven cents a gallon which is the cheapest we paid on our on our loop thus far and uh, so we're we're not really making a special effort to get there. It's sort of on our way, so it's, it's working out really well. Uh, so on we go to get some inexpensive diesel. So this is the Knapp Narrows Bridge that uh, has just opened for us. We're in a tiny cut through Tillman Island. And once we get through here, we are hoping to stop and get fuel. Although <laughs> I just radioed somebody and I guess I radioed the wrong place. So we're calling this a first. We are, there, the gas price, or sorry, diesel price is like, wow. But um, uh, I wouldn't pick this marina if, uh, if the price was so cheap, but I guess you're not paying for any service at all. Cause there are no dock hands. You have to stern in. There is no dock to tie to. You kind of, we've, well, there's a pole forward that we've kind of tied off and then we've got this stern spring that's kind of keeping us steady on the dock and we, drag our fuel line over and we're working on tank number one and uh, the current out uh, there is brutal uh, we were westbound and uh, we were I I actually as we were approaching the bridge I thought that uh, I had it in too high an rpm and I went to bring my rpms down and realized that uh, I was in idle and uh, we were just flying through. So coming around that corner to come in here is exciting to say the least, uh, but uh, once you're sort of in the basin, the current subsides for the most part. There's a little bit of pull, but uh, it's pretty good. Uh, you pay for your, sorry, you, you pump out your own gas and then you go inside, a little like, uh, I guess, a roadside uh, fuel stop. And uh, they do have roadside fuel, um, but, uh, yeah, we're on a self-serve price, two dollars and eighty-six and nine tenths per gallon. Pretty darn good. Worth the effort.
where we could see these guys on the AIS and we knew they were at anchor but as we approached them in this haze, smoky haze, it looks like fog, it was really unnerving because of course they're so huge and uh, you don't want to cross in front of the path of a cargo ship if they're underway. We had to definitely trust our instruments on this one. We have crossed back over to the west Camp. side of Annapolis. We're we're bored of it. It's okay. Uh, we're we're on back on the west side of the Chesapeake and uh, just coming into Annapolis Harbor. It is awful. With the smoke uh, and it's it's like I guess it's kind of like coming in in fog. Um, so you you don't get to see what what you're looking for until you're just about there. Um, but uh, anyway, we are 2.9 miles from our destination, and we're going to tie up and close up the boat, turn some air conditioning on, so that we can uh, breathe, filter, and clean up some air, and just get some break from the smoke. Hopefully, it'll be gone by tomorrow. just cutting through the mooring field. We've got to enter the harbor just past that big guy's bow. Lots of boats in here in the Annapolis Yacht Basin. It's like a tight turn ahead. We are in the Annapolis Yacht Basin. We are secure. It's a little squishy getting in here. We actually stuck our nose up into those slips so that we could get backed into this slip. And then I just kind of used that pole as a, as a pivot point when we were coming in. It's a bit of a breeze on us, but uh, we are secure, comfortable, hoping that the um, air will clear and we'll have uh, the ability to go in and check out the sights of Annapolis, Maryland. While in Annapolis, we enjoyed some delicious crab cakes from the Boatyard Bar and Grill. They were, in our humble opinion, the best we'd ever had. We also got to enjoy a nice dinner out with fellow loopers before finishing our visit with a trip to the United States Naval Academy. The Naval Academy is an awe-inspiring visit and well worth the effort. As Canadians, we were required to use our passports to enter, so if you are not from the United States, you will need to remember to bring your passport to be allowed entry. We also witnessed a time-honored military tradition of the evening attention to colors. After the calling of attention to colors, the cannon is sounded and the flag is lowered to the accompaniment of retreat. Colors was first initiated by the Royal Navy in 1797 and was subsequently adopted by the United States Navy in 1843.
Attention to cars.